Hello trumpet players, I got a request to do a video about the judging process in Texas for the all region and all state band auditions. So, you know, I've never been a band director. I've never, I haven't had a day job since 1988. And um, so I have no obligation to go to any of these judging things. They do not pay. That's something that's significant. You don't get paid to go and judge. So there's no reason for someone like me, who's not actually part of that system, to go judge. But I do anyway when it's not going to cost me money. Okay? And the reason I go is because I want to be able to answer your questions about this process. You know, if I'm teaching my students about... Um, well, let me back up a little bit. You know, I'm actually fundamentally opposed to music competitions. So you could say, then, why have you won so many yourself? And why do your students continue to win? And the answer to that is because there's no way around it. You have to compete to be a musician. I don't think it's good, I don't think it's right, but it's a fact of life, okay? If you want to continue with music, you have to compete, all right? So, now, that said, if I'm going to compete when I'm fundamentally opposed to competitions, well, then I'm going to compete to win. I'm going to strategize so that I don't waste my effort. And the same thing is true for my students. We're going to strategize and work according to what we know about the auditions. And I believe that that has really helped my students compete because I give them that inside information. All right. Now, before I go on, I want to tell you that I'm not going to share the strategies with you. I'm only going to share the hard, cold facts with you, okay? You're going to have to strategize yourself or take lessons. That's one. So I have to draw the line somewhere so that the stuff I offer in these videos doesn't take away from what I teach in my lessons. So that's where I draw that line. I'll give you the facts, but I will not... Uh, share with you my strategies. My strategies do work, but if you want them, you'll have to come take lessons, okay? All right, so, no, and, and so what I was saying was, is that I do these auditions so that I can have that experience, all right? So I know what I'm talking about. And in order to help you see this process, I've made a mock form, and we're going to fill it out in front of you, okay? So you see how the process works. Okay, so you have a few columns. You have student column. That's your, you know, everybody gets a letter. And because there's so many, usually you're going to have two letters. Okay, A, 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 B, A, C. Number one is where your first etude, your score for the first etude, your score for the second etude is the third column. Your score for the third etude is in the fourth column. And then if this is the jazz audition, your score for the improv etude is in the four, fifth problem, column. All right, and then we total that up. And then the last column is comments. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. But what I want to really stress right now, take a look at that first number. What's missing there? Detail. There's no detail in that number. Do we know from that number if you had a good sound? No. Do we know from that number if you made mistakes? No. What do we know from that number? We know nothing. Okay? 
And, and, and this is how this works. You know, we sit back and listen to you play. When you are done, we decide for ourselves. And I, I, I did this one, two, and three. I'm, I made it so where that you can have 100 points per A2. Just to make it simple. All right. Um, when you're finished playing, we give you one number. We don't give you points for having a good sound. We don't give you points for going faster. You don't get points for hitting the high notes. Uh, you don't get points taken off if you play a wrong note. You don't get points taken off if you play a wrong rhythm. You get one number. In order for this to be a point system where you get points for or taken off or added according to all the stuff you do, the judge would need to be a mathematical genius. It's really just not likely that any judge would have that kind of point system. Okay? It's, it's just not very likely. Okay? So, basically... When you get to the end of the A2, the judge sits back and says, how much do I like this performance? From 1 to 100, how much do I like this performance? 63 is the number I wrote. Okay, just uh, uh, really, especially when you're the first one, that number is completely arbitrary. It means nothing. If I gave you a 10, it meant I didn't like you at all. If I gave you a 90, it meant I really, really like you a lot. Okay? Not you, the person, but you're, the way you perform. Okay? Let's look at the next screen. So, if you're doing regular region or, or regular Allstate, this is how the form will fill out. We'll hear each person on that first etude. And each person will get a number. And I'm going to emphasize that one more time. You get one number. When A, B finishes the A2, we ask ourselves, how was that in comparison to, to A, A? And in this case, A, B was considerably worse than A, A. And then when we look at A, C, oh, really, really bad. So for me to give somebody a 20 out of 100, we're talking about someone who stops multiple times in the etude, someone who misses pretty much everything in the etude. That's, that 20 is a really bad score, all right? 10, I have to, you know, this is all, obviously I'm just making this up. 10 is horrible, 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 horrible. That person should have probably not shown up. Um, in fact, you know what? I would probably give someone a 10 if, because I've been to, Auditions like this where someone will play Star Wars or some other song besides what they're supposed to play. And you know what? I think that's a extremely disrespectful thing to do. You guys think it's funny? It's extremely disrespectful. You know, those judges are not being paid. They're not being paid. They don't get anything out of being there to judge you. And yet, you'll go in there and play Star Wars or some other stupid song? I think you should, your band director should give you a, a F for the whole semester if you do something like that. That's, that's just horrible, horrible, horrible. All right, let's move on. The next screen, we fill down the second etude. The next screen, we fill down the third etude. Now, if this is the jazz audition, the improv etude is not going to have as many points as the, uh, the other etudes. It's weighted lighter. So, hypothetically, if the etudes, the written etudes, are 100 points each, the improv etude might be 60 points. And that's what I did with this. So, those numbers there that you're looking at 
are based on a 60 point maximum. All right. Then we take all of that and we total it. We total that together and that's the score that goes to the main sheet where everybody gets compared. And there's one more part of the process. You know, after you get your final score, here's, one of the, here's what we do to offset any biases is they remove your personal highest score and they remove your personal lowest score. This is put in place so that your band director isn't the judge and helps you make Allstate by giving you a higher score that you didn't deserve. Or vice versa, let's say your competition's band director can recognize you and says, um, let me hurt his score by giving him a bad grade. Well, either one of those is going to be taken off anyway, so there's no way for, it would have to be for their, you know what, let me say this while I'm, while I'm at it. For the all-state or all-region process to be rigged, as so many of you have uh, accused it would have to be a large-scale conspiracy involving at least two judges, which is extremely unlikely because they do have safeguards put into place for that. So stop going around saying that the, the all-state stuff was rigged. It's not rigged. Okay. Okay, let's look at the next form. So in the comments section... We do get to write things that help us remember more about you. Remember, we're looking at a room of sometimes 150 students. And it's important for us to keep notes so that if there is any discrepancy down the road, we can go back and look at our notes. There's no way we're going to remember how AA sounded, or how AB sounded, or how, how JW sounded, or whatever. There's no way we can know that with all those students playing, and everyone's playing the same thing, so it becomes kind of uh, monotonous, right? It's impossible for us to remember an a individual. So yes, we do put uh, comments, but those comments, you know, going back to the whole point system, now what I do, look at the second AB's comments. I put RT, if this is a jazz thing, I'll put RT if someone's playing Ricky Tick. And if it's really, really Ricky Tick, I'll put slashes after the Ricky Tick. The more slashes, the more Ricky Tick. Okay? And then also, if someone is sloppy, I'll put an S. And if it's really, really sloppy, I'll put slashes. The more slashes, the more sloppy. Okay? But yeah, we put little little um notes to ourselves those notes aren't necessarily for you i think well maybe they are i use them for myself so that i can remember in case there's a discrepancy later all right because there are sometimes we're not supposed to have ties well we we're not supposed to have ties so um that's why i put those those notes in there so that if I do have a tie, I can um, break it and put the right person above the per previous person, okay? All right, so that's how this process works. Now you have the information to create your own strategy. Um, if you are interested in my strategy, you will have to take a lesson, at least one lesson. All right, because that's that's something I won't give away for free because it's something that my students are paying for, specifically paying for. You know, I've been saying a lot lately that lessons are not for information. Lessons are not for information. There might have been a day in the old days before the Internet when lessons were all about information. Those days are gone. Private lessons are not about information. Private lessons are about guidance. And you need that guidance now more than ever. Because there's too much information. 
Now, in the old days, you didn't have enough information. Now there's too much information. You need to have someone who's been there, done that, help you sort through. I'm not one of those guys that says, oh, you shouldn't get information off the internet. You shouldn't be watching those YouTube videos. I've heard teachers say that. You know, I've heard teachers say that automatically if, if, you, if someone's sharing information, someone like me is sharing information online, especially on YouTube, that those are automatically bad teachers, which is bogus, of course. But that's, that's the, the way people are, um, that's the resistance we get for learning how to play trumpet on your own without lessons. And there is some legitimacy to that. It's just that, okay, the information changes everything. You can get information anywhere now. There's so many different places for you to get information. But what you don't have is the wisdom about what to do about it. What to do with that information that you've got. So now... Um, and that, that's part of the reason why I'm not going to share my strategy. Because that strategy is slightly different from one person to the next anyway. So if I share that strategy with you, it may not work. Just like all the stuff I teach on YouTube may not work for you. Because you're an individual. I have a video, I'll put a link right here. I have a video about, about how different we are from each other. And you could take all of this stuff I'm teaching, not just on this video, but any of the other videos. You could take all of that and apply it. And it can be completely disastrous. Why? Because none of it applied to you. Anyway, I'm on a rant. Um, so, if you have any questions about the judging process, please feel free to ask below. I'm going to stress one more time. You don't get points off you don't get points added there is no system in place for that if you have questions about that or if you're a judge if you've judged before and you want to add to what i have to say or dispute what i have to say i invite you to do that down there in the comments all right other than that um god bless you and we'll see you on the next video thank you very much mm -hmm.